What's up guys, welcome to Ask Zyback number 7. The gameplay you're seeing right here is from The Last of Us. Actually, this game has awesome multiplayer. I know everyone is buying it for the single player, which is definitely the best feature, but the multiplayer is sweet. Uh, so now on to the questions, if you're not familiar with what uh, Ask Zyback is. Sorry, my voice is a little bit... <clears throat> my voice is a little raspy. I just woke up. So Ask Zyback is a series where the train goes by and fucks up the commentary. I'll try again in a minute. Alright, try to. Ask Zyback is a series where I answer questions off my Facebook and Twitter, so if you have a question, ask away down there, and it might be on the next episode of Ask Zyback. All of these questions are actually from Facebook, because I didn't really get any questions that I really wanted to answer off of Twitter. Um, sometimes it goes the other way around, sometimes I get uh, questions from the YouTube comments as well. But Facebook and Twitter, you guys need to follow me there, that's the best way to get notified when I'm streaming, make a new video, all that kind of stuff. So, first question comes in from Mike Duty on Facebook. What game am I looking forward to the most from E3? He's most excited about The Division. Now, I'm not super excited about The Division or, um, what's the other game? Destiny? They're like MMO FPS games on console. I'm curious how that will work out for us hardcore MMO players. I feel like those games will be very good for people who don't have experience with MMOs and aren't used to plowing through the content, but I just don't see, I don't see The Division or Destiny having enough content to keep me into it for a long time. I hope I'm wrong, I hope they're fucking awesome and I play the shit out of them, but I'm not that excited, I guess I'm not, it's not that I'm not excited, I guess I'm just kind of worried that they won't be able to pull it off, but I hope they do. So, the game I'm most excited for is Kingdom Hearts 4, I'm very, er, King, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3. No, I'm getting ahead of myself. Kingdom Hearts 3. I am i don't know why they stopped making those. The last Kingdom Hearts game they made for console was Kingdom Hearts 2 back in, like, 2003? It was on the PlayStation 2. <clears throat> and I'm not sure why they stopped making them. It's not, like the, it's not like Kingdom Hearts 2 did badly. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 did exceptionally well. And they're just like, fuck it, let's just stop making them now. I have no idea why. No idea why they stopped making them. Uh... But that's what I'm most excited for. There's a lot of great games that got announced at E3. Uh, just to name some off the top of my head. Halo, Infamous, The Order 1886, Battlefront 3, Battlefield 4, uh, Beyond Two Souls, Watch Dogs. Uh, a million different games that, have, that are being announced at E3. This year in gaming should be really good. Like, the next 365 days should be fucking crazy. I can't wait. I will probably be buying a lot of games. We got Wildstar coming out. Wildstar is the game that I'm most excited for. Uh, it wasn't really showed off at E3. I think they were at E3, but they didn't reveal anything, so nobody really knew they were at E3. But Wildstar is my most, the game I'm the most excited for overall. But uh, anyway, next question comes in from David Hernandez. What alcohol do you like? I'm not super into alcohol. I'm not 21 yet, so I don't have the access to go to like bars or have the ability to go to bars and do all that whole scene. But I don't think I'd be into it. I'm not really into getting super shit-faced. Occasionally, I like to get a little buzzed, but I don't like getting totally blazed out of my mind. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I just don't like being impaired. I, sometimes I like being slightly impaired. Like, I'll do, like, one or two shots. That's the only time I really fuck around with alcohol is, is if it's shots. I don't like beer. Uh, maybe I'm just a, a, a vagina, but... I don't know, it's, it takes, it's too long. I'm a big dude, I have to drink a lot of beer. Even though my alcohol tolerance is really low, I'm just a very large man, and uh, and it takes me a while to get drunk, even though my alcohol tolerance is low, so I'm just going to do shots if I want to get a little little tipsy. So that's my uh, my experience with alcohol, I'm not really into it. Uh, marijuana, people always ask if I'm a, a pothead, not really. Uh, I don't really like smoking anything. I have... Uh, enjoyed the edible version of marijuana, which I kind of like. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like that. Uh, but not that often. Not not really super into it. I'm not super into not being myself. But the thing that I do want to try is the isolation tank. If you're not familiar with what an isolation tank is, it's a device where it's kind of like a swimming pool. It's this small swimming pool. And what they do is they put uh, they put these sea, I think it's sea salt, I'm not sure, they put like five, 500 or 600 pounds of sea salt in this tub, 
and lid closes on it and you can't see anything it's completely pitch dark pitch black dark the water is heated up to your body temperature and there's so much salt in the water that you float so basically it's like you're floating and there's no outside interference you can't hear you can't see there's no the the effect of gravity is greatly reduced because you're just floating and uh I think that'd be cool. Like, apparently that's such a powerful experience with you just floating in nothingness that you, like, hallucinate. Even if you're not under any sort of substance, even if you're not on any sort of substance, you just hallucinate because there is no outside distractions. And I would love to try that. I'd love to try that. I think that would be freaking sweet. All right. Uh, next question comes in from Jordan Martinez. First job plus impressions. Uh, my first job was working for my dad, washing cars out in the in the summer, in the hot sun, standing on asphalt with the car's reflection of the sun beaming right in my face. Dude, I, if you guys think I'm pale now, I was the exact opposite of what I am now. I am like Casper the Ghost right now. And uh, I was like an African when I worked that summer. I was black. I was black. No shit. I was just... I had this ridiculous tan. It looked... It looked almost... It it looked weird. It didn't look good. Like, it wasn't like... It wasn't like, oh, that's a nice tan you got. No, it was like, whoa, dude. Are you white? You are... You're white. You're white, right? No, it's... uh, It was crazy, though. But that, that job... Uh, I actually really liked that job. And my dad didn't understand why. But the thing is, is that... With jobs like that, where you're just doing, like, a menial thing, you have no worries. The biggest worry I had going into work every day was, well, I hope some birds didn't shit on the car. And that's it. So, if you think your menial job is all bad, at least you don't have much to worry about. With this YouTube thing, I have so much to worry about. Yes, it's a lot more compelling. The work I do is, I'm super into it, and I really enjoy doing it. But I have so many things to worry about. So much bullshit. Especially some, somewhat recently, I've had a lot of bullshit to go through. And it's, it's stressful. It's very stressful. Because the internet moves fast as fuck. Um, but that was a good job. I, I like that. I, I liked it. I, I mean, it, was, uh, it wasn't the most exciting thing in the world. But uh, it, was a little, it, it was okay. I don't know. Whatever. The only thing that was a little bit scary about that job is that sometimes time would pass by very quickly. You know that term, you've been out in the sun too long? That has a lot of, uh, that, that's very accurate. You know, there was one day where I was washing cars, and I remember starting washing the cars, and, and then I, the next thing I remember, I'm like way down the line, I had washed every car on the lot, and I don't recall what even happened. I like completely shut off. I don't, it was like I was on autopilot, and that would happen pretty frequently, where it would be like, oh shit, it's fucking three o'clock already, how did that happen? Like, the time would just fly by, and I would have no idea how it flew by so quickly, so I think that had to do with me being in the sun a little too long, uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, that's Ask Zyback number seven, see you guys next time.